Dear friends, there are many occasions when ordinary people suffer for their faith in Jesus. Sometimes they can suffer in a big way. We hear stories from overseas of Christians being martyred for their faith, giving of their lives for their faith in Jesus. But we can also suffer for our faith in smaller ways, in our families, when a family members misunderstood for their faith. They have something, uh, a faith in Jesus that the rest of the family doesn't have. That can cause a lot of tension, can cause a lot of difficulties. Our children, our young people, out there going to school, your peers, you might be still going to Mass, you might be praying, you might believe in the Lord, you might practice your faith. And what do your friends do? They say, you're weird. What are you doing that for? You still go to church, you kidding? There's a lot of pressure for young people to give up their faith because most young people don't practice their faith. And so it is for us older folks as well. Sometimes to actually practice your faith, to believe in Jesus, to go to church, takes a bit of courage because our mates don't. You go down to the pub, what do you say? You say, oh, the church on Sunday. Oh, this. No, you don't. Be very quiet. Be rather embarrassed if it became known that you were at church. So there's a lot of suffering and, and difficulties that we all have to go to go through in following Jesus. And I think it's important we realise that that we we actually need help. We need help to hold fast to our faith and to get through those difficulties. Scandal is another obstacle and difficulty to faith can cause a lot of suffering. When we see a Christian person, a Catholic person, sin, do something bad, we're scandalised. Did we hear or read about a priest doing something bad and sinful? We're scandalised. We have to move beyond that and say, well, yes, we know that we're all sinners and there's sinners in the church. We have to, I have to say to ourselves, really, that we're not going to let the sins of others keep us away from Jesus. But all that can be really, really difficult and we need God's help. Now the first reading today is Mass from the Maccabees. It's a little bit similar. Here we have the decree of the king ordering these Jewish people to do something against their faith to do something against the law, to eat pork and to profane the law. And what happens? Here's this young fella who gets up and says, no, I'm not going to do what the king wants me to do. I'm not going to turn my back on my faith and religion. He risked death by doing that, at least a severe persecution, but he stood up. And he refused to compromise his faith and suffered a lot for it. There's a message there for all of us that sometimes we have to stand up. We have to stand up for what we believe in. And it might cost us. People may laugh at us. They may think we're backward. We're crazy. But we are fools for Christ. We need to do this. So how do you do it? Where do you get the strength to do that? Even the strength to get up on a cold Sunday morning and go to Mass when it's a lot better staying where it's nice and warm. Well, that's grace. That's the grace of the Holy Spirit. And that grace strengthens us and allows us to persevere in our faith and practice our faith. But it's really good to say a little prayer each day. Say a prayer for perseverance. The grace of perseverance. To hold on to Christ, to hold on to your faith, to treasure your faith, to be able to practice it and stand up for the Lord in the midst of forces that are trying to drag us away. Really, really important. And the Lord's the only way that's going to help us get over scandal. I, one of the most frustrating things as a bishop and as a priest is the amount of stories I hear from Catholics 
who no longer go to church, no longer practice their faith, haven't been near the place for years, and you talk to them and you ask, well, why have you stopped? Why did you stop? Why did you go away? And it's amazing how many answer it's because some cranky old priest snapped at them when they were an altar boy or something. Just snapped at them, just yelled at them because they did something wrong. They've never been back. That scandal. So the reverse side of that is, I suppose we have to be very careful that we don't be the cause of scandal for others. That we aren't the ones causing the suffering to others that they have to overcome. We've got to watch what we say and every word we say can be very, very important. So dear friends, go forth. Go forth in faith. Love your faith. Pray that your faith may grow deeper in your heart. Never give up. And be proud to stand up for what you believe. And know that in doing that, you're not doing it alone. You're doing it with Christ and all his mystical body, the church. God bless you.